Finding God's Favor in the Darkest of Times, written by Lynette Kittle and read by Kelly Givens. Today's Bible verse is Genesis 6, 8, But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Does it ever seem like the world is getting so steeped in darkness that it's becoming harder and harder for people to walk faithfully with God? Although our world probably doesn't yet compare to the days of Noah, darkness seems to be on a steady increase. As Genesis 6-5 explains, the Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. Scripture certainly paints a very bleak picture of the state of mankind during Noah's lifetime, describing how far we had fallen away from our beautiful beginning in the Garden of Eden. Sadly, as Genesis 6-6 explains, it came to a point where the Lord regretted that He had made human beings on the earth, and His heart was deeply troubled. God's heart was truly grieved by the sinfulness of the people He had so lovingly created. Yet, because He is long-suffering and extremely patient with us, it takes more than we can imagine for God to reach a point of regret. 2 Peter 3.9 describes how God is not slow in keeping His promises, as we might understand slowness, but rather He doesn't want anyone to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Still, even in the darkest of times, Genesis 6.9 tells us, This is the account of Noah and his family— Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. So how did Noah find favor in the eyes of the Lord in the wickedest time the world has ever seen? And what does it mean to be blameless among the people of our time? Scripture explains how God shows us what is good and asks us to love mercy and walk humbly with Him. It shows us how delighted He is in our doing what is right and just. Yet many Christians believe once they accept Christ's salvation, what they choose to do in life doesn't really matter to God. They mistakenly think God isn't paying attention to their actions because they are just one in millions of humans walking around on the world. But Psalm 14.2 tells us God is looking down from heaven on all of us to see if any of us are seeking Him. As Christians, God calls us to do what He says in Isaiah 1.17, Learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. Just like in the days of Noah, the condition of our present-day world doesn't excuse us from doing what is right and just in God's sight. And although it may seem like it's easier said than done, Philippians 4.13 assures, I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. Just like Noah, we can seek to be righteous and live blameless among the people of our day in a way that finds favor in God's eyes, so that no matter what darkness is happening around us, we can walk faithfully before Him. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, We'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.